Hello, my name is Edgar Loktin Yong, and uh, this is my website. As usual, we are going to talk about feng shui, and this is the 32nd videos. Today, we are going to sum up the eight mentioned feng shui, and then I will show you a few different ways to find the center of a floor plan. Uh, the center of the floor plan is very important when we're doing the feng shui. If the center is wrong, then a lot of uh, you know diagnosis will be wrong so uh, let's start okay so let's start um, we talk about the eight house uh, or eight mentioned system of feng shui in the last few uh, videos so there are from the beginning i told you there's a, a few different ways they are looking at the uh, realm during star some use the sitting right some use the facing some use the um, uh, the location of the door so in the older way the older method is they use the location of the door the main door and the main structure but nowadays you know this uh, system seems not really can apply to the modern building uh, for example is in, in the old time most of the this courtyard house courtyard type house they were like facing south so let's say you know in, in the south sector In the south sector, there's three mountains there, right? So the door, the location of the door, they will be always uh, located within this uh, li gua or the li gua. So it's easier to calculate the rendering star. However, in the modern building nowadays, not necessary. They will be facing south, some facing north, some facing east, or southeast, northwest. So it's all different directions uh, and they because the lane size or lane shape or for the sunlight for a lot of different reasons so they may be let's say maybe the door will open in a in a different sector for example this is the you know this is the li hua so li hua is the bing wu and ding and this is the kun gua. Let's say this is the, the kun gua. Okay, you and kun gua, that's the li gua, kun gua. So sometimes there may be a possibility that the door, the door will be like open in between two gua here. So how do you calculate, you know, the rendering star? There must be a, a better way to do it, right? So generally, if I look at the uh, you know the, the, the cardinal direction or internal cardi car cardinal direction they are facing or the doorway they are right on that gua area then you can add you can add the add mention feng shui system into your calculation however the eight mention feng shui you cannot use it by itself independently there's conditions the condition is they have to use the the yuan gua or you know the, the yuan gua or, or the san yuan yuan gua system san yuan yuan gua system system san yuan gua system as the foundation the 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 most uh, foundation layer and then you build on top then you can build the, the you know the eight mention function on top you can build the flying star function on top you can build the diagram function on top um, but I, I, I can assure you if you not having this layer correctly done then no matter how you build any other you know system on top it it will work but it's not you you cannot guarantee it work that's that's or you work maybe about 70%, 70 percent 70 71 72 uh, percent but with the layer of the yang gua on top uh, on the bait on the bottom on the bottom then when you build up you can uh, surely you know approaching to 
you know, 90%, 90% can't say 100%, but because sometimes some client will make mistake, uh, I actually had a, a very interesting case. Uh, one client uh, ring me early this year because uh, she bought an apartment for the for the parents, and they uh, install an air con air conditioner, and the air conditioner um, or decided a uh, uh, renovated house, and one of the features is the air conditioner, and I specify the position for them to put and early this year she rang me and asked me go back to check whether you know they have done something wrong or I have done something wrong so luckily they she kept the plan that I drawn for her so we'll just check 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 oh I find out that the air conditioner the outlet they install in uh, half correct and half incorrect I tell them why because it install in the peak sector peak sector and half most of them on the peak sector and that peak sector in the house is not a favorable sector so you know peak is in the Chenghua Chenghua is the lung Chenghua is the father so last year the, the, the father has some lung issue and then we find out why you know what happened it's because the builder the guy who installed the air con say oh you put in that spot it doesn't look good put it more to the center look more symmetrical so it's in feng shui uh, sometimes you cannot uh, be too symmetric symmetrical uh, so that is a very you know practical case uh, sometimes it's not my fault. It's the client they, or the installer. They, you know the, 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 the installer they made some mistake. So if you are really into feng shui, everything that your master, your feng shui master, tell you to do, you you follow. You know, don't say oh the the you know, installer say this way is better. Then you do it. In fact, uh, in the Cantonese you say. 差之毫厘, meaning just a little bit different it will bring a lot of different results so uh, okay so that, that's a, a, a you know a, a practical case for that so there, there is a system we, we can build the foundation so make sure there's no violate with the feng shui issue and then we can build up the uh, eight mansion system Build up the flying star system, build up the Daigua system. So this layer is the most important. And uh, uh, I definitely recommend if you have time, you 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 come to study with me, you know. Um, but it is okay, you you for coming up, you just study or learn or you know watch my video, then learn more of the you know the uh, more basic technique first and then when you learn all this like the egg, egg house mansion the flying star and then you combine together then you will you know you, you look more clearly about the house uh, about um, a building or about an office you can tell a lot of things so okay so we'll stop here for the egg mention and next video we're going to start with the flying star feng shui. Uh, so as, as on the start, let's say I'm uh, going to tell you how to find the center, right? There's a, 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 a few ways. So if uh, like the plan is very regular, uh, rectangular, a very rectangular plan, it's very easy. We just put a pause or if it's... Uh, just missing a little bit, you know, then we make it full and then we, we find the center like that, okay? So what happened if they are irregular? What happened if there's an irregular shape? Then uh, there's a couple ways we can do it. I actually post some video some time ago, but I will put in this video uh, for you to use as a reference. 
and I will show you another method. So let me get the uh, tools ready and I will show you. Right, so if you have something like this, then uh, like this irre irregular shape, right? It's actually, it is a house, you know, I'm going to look at it on Sunday. So they send me the floor plan. So what you can do is like, you can use the pin, like, like this pin, and you cut it out, you know, cut, cut, cut it out. And then you use this method to, you know, to hold that, you know, to find the center, you know, where's the center and until it's balanced, then you, you, you can find the center there. So, you know, like that, like that. Uh, I, I actually did another video, uh, but you have to be patient. And this is will take uh, some time because I did earlier, so I actually put the put the holes there, so you can find the hole, and that that will be very um, you know center of of this is center point. The other way you can do it is uh, by putting uh, like a hose here in the corner, one hole here in the corner, another one here in the corner and then one here or or you know one one here okay so what you need to do is uh, you you have the, a, a a pin or a holding point like i had it here then i actually make one up here so you can hold on to this here and you let it move freely you know let it move freely use the you know geographic a force, pull it down, and then you use some like uh, weight, or I, I use a uh, fishing rock, fishing lines here. And what you can do is like hang on to this and let it uh, fall down, like, uh, or you know, the weights down, and then you can. May, you may see it here, I already marked there once, so you, you can do, mark a line here, mark a point here, then you can change to another point. Uh, you have to let it, you know, string freely, you know, if, if it's too tight, then it's not, they're not going down completely, so, and then you hold it on there, and then, see, draw another point here, and you, you want to have another point. So if you can get three points, three points together, like that. Like this has to move free, freely as well. And then you use this weight to drop it down. So that, that's another point. So once you have this point, like you, you link, put a ruler on link with this point, link that point together, and link this point together, and they will get a center point. That is very, very um, easy way to do it. The other way is you can use uh, Auto AutoCAD. AutoCAD they have a function of finding a uh, you know um, a, a, a center or mass center. Yes, use some Auto AutoCAD command. You can do it that way as well. So uh, it depends on which way is suitable for you. Uh, uh, I'm trying to learn using Auto AutoCAD because it will be easier. You just maybe import the, the drawing and then use that command. Uh, there's a few commands there, but if you Google uh, up how to find the center point of uh, floor plan, you will definitely um, get, get your answer there. So um, today uh, I finish here. And I hope you like this short video and, and uh, feel free to share and like my video. And the uh, good news is uh, we're nearly uh, 280 subscribers now. Like last week is uh, 270. Now the, this week has, I have 10 more subscribers. So thank you for your subscription and I uh, talk to you on the next video. Thank you.